forward. Okay, so it should be recording. Okay, so here I am. Let me just, this is seventh period drafting class. I do have Drew Hayes in your drafting too, Drew. Yeah. Okay, so this is Autodesk. This is like Adobe. You know, you got Photoshop, you got Lightroom, you got all kinds of different products in Adobe, but this is Autodesk is like Adobe, but then you go to Autodesk and you get all these other programs. We have Revit, we have Inventor, we have AutoCAD, um, and those are three basic programs that we use, okay? Uh, Civil 3D is more of a, uh, an engineering type of program um, for groundwork and stuff like that, but it's all kinds of different uh, programs that you can download. But you guys can do this stuff for free at home if you have a laptop or a desktop. Now, with that said, I'm, that's where I highly recommend you go. And I'm going to tell you, even if you're in class, I would highly recommend you have this on your computer at home anyway. It's just something that you can play around with and putz around, especially you guys that are in, um, if you're in Mr. Mang's for robotics and stuff, if you decide to go into engineering or any of that kind of stuff, it's just a great program to learn, okay? But, so that's that. With that said, you got three ways to hand in a drawing. You're gonna sketch it, you're gonna look for a free program on your iPad, put it on your iPad and hand it in, or you're gonna download the Autodesk product uh, via this website you just pick something and it's going to you're going to have um, the ability to go ahead and put in information you're going to have to have a school email maybe some kind of um, a verifiable id photo id or something um, and then it's going to give you uh, this program for free which is outstanding okay so you guys go ahead and look into that if if you want I'm going to highly recommend if you have a PC or a desktop at home that you do. Okay. Other than that, that's that. Now, what I want to do is I want to go and I'm going to go into AutoCAD and I'm just going to go through a drawing uh, quickly for you. And um, this is what I expect because we are in drafting one. We are into geometric shapes. We're doing um, geometric construction problems. Those problems are to help aid in you, you in drawing the next problems, the next uh, 629, the conveyor link, uh, the cover plate, the gasket, you know, there's a couple other drawings on here. Uh, the hand wheel, there's a movie film reel over on page 118 and 119. But what I'm going to do is, can you see that now? You can see that page, right? I'm going to go templates. I'm going to go to put my template up. Can you guys see this page? Yeah, we can. I can. Okay, thanks for somebody chiming in. Okay, um, so what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and draw this first drawing, and I'm going to draw it quickly. Probably be done in 10, 15 minutes, and you guys will be done for with school today. Okay, um, but uh, it does in in this uh, on page 117 the conveyor link. It does give you a, a process of doing it. So right now I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of center lines. So I'm going to do a center line. I'm going to go. And let's draw a center line. This center line, I'm looking at the object that should be six, seven, maybe eight inches long. I'm going to type in eight, enter, back that out. That's that, okay? So that's what I'm going to work with. I'm going to draw another line. I'm going to do this quickly, okay? You guys can watch it, but um, you can also replay it if you want. I drew a center line down here, and that center line I'm going to offset six inches, enter, because that's the base. So that's where I'm going to start. All right, we also have a center line that is drawn up at a 15 degree angle from here. Look at this, see how this is bouncing around? I don't want it to bounce around like that. I'm gonna hit F9. It bounces around like that because if I have the uh, grid on just like that, see how it bounces to a square? And I can change that if I want, but I don't like the grid. And then I also don't like it bouncing around because I want I want to use O snap. So I O snap to here, that's an intersection. And then I want this to be 15 degrees up, but from here, it is 180. So if I go 15, it's going to be what? 165, right? So let's hit tab, type in 165, enter. Okay, that's that. Okay, I want another one at 30 degrees from here up to here. It says 90. If I go back this way, 30, it's going to be tab 120, enter. Okay. Then I'm going to do a circular arc here that's going out here and that arc is at radius of 3.88 so i'm going to go a radius and this is still center lines i'm going to go 
radius 3.88, enter, and that's that, okay? And I can trim some of this stuff later too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some object lines in there. So that's my center lines. I'm gonna to go to, um, let's go to visible lines rather, okay? Then I'm gonna start putting a radius in. Actually, that is a diameter. The small circle is a diameter, center diameter. I'm gonna go here, go 0 0.56, 0 0.56. That's how small that is. And then I'm gonna also do a circle, which is a radius. So I change this to a radius and the circle goes from here and it is gonna be 0 0.81, 0 0.81, enter. Okay, so that's those two. And I could take this and this, right click. I'm gonna go copy selection from this intersection. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, make sure that goes there. And I'm gonna draw a line from here. Now this might, my, my uh, what is that called? Quadrant is not on. Quadrant, I call that quadrant. And quadrant is more like a corners of a circle. I call it corners of a circle if you can say that. But uh, so corners of a circle, I can snap to the top, the bottom, the right side or the left side, okay? So I'm gonna snap here and snap here, exit. Okay, I can hit enter to go back to that same command. I want, I, that's intersection or quadrant there and quadrant there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim, get rid of this stuff, bump, bump. Let's get rid of that, trim that out, okay? Trim all that out, good, okay? And um, so that's that bottom piece. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this little tongue on here, whatever that is. And it says a half inch from here to here and here to here, actually it's a quarter. So if I go to offset 0.25, enter, I can go quick with this because you guys, that's a center line that I'm offsetting, but I'm gonna take that center line and this one and I'm gonna turn it into what? I'm gonna turn it into a visible line, okay? And then I'm gonna do some circles here. Uh, that little circle is a half inch. Actually, if I just go radius here anyway, I go from here to there, that's good. And then I can do that again, hit enter, go back to that same command, go from there and go to there, all right? And I'm gonna do another circle right here. This one is, the radius is 0 0.75, 0 0.75, enter, all right? And then I'm gonna do another one that goes from here to there, right? And then another one from, I always go back up there and pick it, but you can also hit enter to get back to that same command. Now, what do I wanna do? I wanna go ahead and just trim some of this stuff, get rid of some of this crap that's on here, okay? Boom, boom, all right? Get rid of anything that doesn't, doesn't belong, all right? Boom, boom, okay? And then the last thing is, is I wanna do the fillets. Is that how you did that, Grace? Did you fillet it? You fillet these? Yeah, I did. Grace, you're still there. I'm glad you didn't fall asleep. Outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is tough. Did you guys, when you guys were in your classrooms with other teachers, did you just listen to them talk or did you actually do activities? I just listened to mine talk. Really? Just like you are with me, right? Kind of a pain in the arse, isn't it? But it is what it is. I don't think, Grace, that we're going to have a uh, winter season, but I just don't know that. Bobby Rogers seemed to think we are, but I don't know that. But okay, so here this is going to be a fillet. So I'm going to pick fillet and I'm going to hit R for the radius and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type in the radius. The radius is in the book, it tells me 1.25, enter. And I go here and here and that's done. Voila. This radius over here, I'm going to do that. I can hit enter, but I can hit R, enter, and I'm going to type in 0.75, which is what this one is. Click that and click, click that. And then that's it. This object is pretty much done for you. I do want to trim this off. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, okay? So this is the object that's done for you. Pretty simple and easy, okay? It's the conveyor link. Now, what do we want to do? We want to put some dimensions in it, okay? So I go to, and Drew, this is probably pretty boring for you, Drew. You know what you got to do, right? So let's go ahead and put the dimensions in, all right? And I'm going to do radius dimensions. Okay, so I'm going to go here, type in radius, and I'm going to click a bunch of these. This is radius here, 0.75. Okay, this is a enter. This is a radius here. It's 
supposed to be 0.81, but 13 sixteenths. This is a radius here, okay? Inch and a quarter. Uh, this is a radius here, 0.75. Uh, so what do we got? Any more radiuses? We got angles. Let's put the angles in there. Let's go angle from here to here. That's 15. Let's do another angle from here to, uh, I'm going to have to draw a line here, okay? Because I want to have a reference line. So I got to draw a line from here just to here. Actually, that's pretty crooked. I don't, I want it straight. So I'm going to hit ortho. Let's just go here and then hit ortho. That makes it straight there. And then that's my reference for my angle dimension. So I can pick that and then pick that. And then that's 30. Okay. And this is, and they're supposed to be, uh, let's see, one, what do we got else? We got uh, 0.5. Okay. So we have how are we going to do this? I don't know how we do this. Let's go. The distance from here to here is 0.5. So let's do this. If I go to, I don't know, maybe radius. If I do a radius, this is quarter. No, I want 0.5. Let's do diameter. Let's see if we can do it that way. If I go diameter, it's this one. Okay. That's 0.5. I don't know if I want that. Let's just do linear, maybe, from nearest. Let me see if I can do this. Nearest, I want this. I want to go nearest. Okay. So I want to go from here to here. No, that's not what I want. What am I doing here? What am I doing? Um... What do I want to do? Maybe I don't even, maybe I just do that as a diameter right there. How did you do that, Grace? You did that, didn't you? Put a dimension in there. Linear. Grace, you did. You fell asleep on me. Didn't you? Sorry, it just wouldn't let me unmute. Um, oh. I don't remember how I did it. Okay, let's do a leader. Let's turn off that. Let's just go like that. Okay, let's go 0 0.5, 0 0.5, there you go, 0.50, is it 0.50? Yeah, enter, actually, actually we'll go uh, half inch, there you go, and then click off of it, that's good, right? We can do that, all right, I just killed a bug, all right, and then we got to put um, text, so let's go with uh, text, single line text, we go here, down at the bottom it says specify height. Let's go 0.25, which is a quarter. Enter, and uh, the rotation angle is zero. We enter there, and then we're gonna type in caps lock. So this is cast steel, cast steel. Enter, and it is 0.31 thick, 0.31 thick. Okay, and enter. That's it. Next it out. Now there's supposed to be 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're missing one. What are we missing? This one right here. Right there. Okay. Six inches. And that's it. Okay. So now we're done. That drawing is done. So th ideally, this is how I want you guys to do drawings at home. Okay. We're going to go to drafting C layout. We're going to go to model, double click our roller button. Okay, and then get it to, that's the extents, get it to one-to-one, -one. go back to paper, come back out to paper, and then we're gonna go ahead and what do we want? Drawing utilities, finish it, finish our drawing. This is gonna be summary. This is gonna be conveyor link, all capitals, conveyor link. Okay, we go to custom, this is me, which is one. This is me, which is one. And then the drawing number is six dash two nine okay we go okay doesn't show up until we go back to model and then we go back to layout c and it shows up and then what we do we go here and we go print now what you guys might want to do is you might go print instead of print you might want to publish to email or you might want to export as a pdf and if you export to pdf 
it kind of looks like, let me see, it kind of looks like this right here. Can you see that? Can you see that or no? That's a, just a PDF file that goes to your desktop or whatever it is, okay? And then you can print and then that's it, okay? So I would go here, I would go print. I would go, it's all set up already, go okay. I go to the printer and I pick it out and it looks something like this. That was pretty quick, huh? So that's it, all right? Now we're gonna get into harder drawings. Certainly we're gonna do the hand wheel, we're gonna do movie film reel, elliptical cam, Buick rear transmission gasket, some of those stuff, some of that stuff isn't that easy. But using some of the techniques, I mean, certainly fillet, fillet is easy. Um, but sometimes you'd have to offset this for three quarters. You'd have to offset this three quarters, offset that three quarters, and then use that as a center point and draw your three quarter hole. Sometimes you got to do that for some of the other drawings. Not a big deal, but pretty simple. That's all I expect from you guys. Three ways to do this. Sketch it. If you don't have any other means, if you have a means with the lap, with the iPad, use a program on, a, on the iPad and try to email it that way. Or you're going to go ahead and download, get AutoCAD on a PC or a laptop or yeah, a laptop at home and then draw it just like this and then export it as a PDF and you're good. Okay. Is that something all you guys can do? Drew, you got a laptop? Yeah. Yeah, well, you can get her done. How about Cal? You have a laptop or a computer? I talked to your mom. Your mom did a video yes. with me, so that's good. Joel, you should have one too, right? Yeah, I got one. Yep. Logan, Grace, you guys should have that. I don't know. Yeah, who, I do. I don't know who else yeah. is here. Dan, Dan, Garrett, you know, I'm telling you, it's a great tool to have just to learn and practice and do different things. Maybe you want to draw a little, maybe you want to draw a little chicken coop or a little dog house or something at home. It's a good tool to use to do that. So uh, I would highly recommend you doing it. And if you have metal shop or power shop or wood shop or any of that kind of stuff, it's always nice to play around with that stuff and be able to do that as well uh, too. So that's it. That's it for my lesson. And here it is, what, 2.32 right now. And uh, you guys, I'm gonna, uh, I video this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, convert it to an mp4 and then put it back into google classroom so you guys if you need to look at it you can go back into google classroom and then look it up and um print it maybe even put it on youtube who knows but um okay any problems or questions you guys uh, can you post the drawings to google classroom and i post the ones that we need to do to google classrooms yeah yes i can i i will not probably do that to, i'll try to do it today but probably more most likely tomorrow okay Grace or not tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's okay. Saturday, right? Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. Yeah, so maybe maybe Monday. Okay. But uh, that's a good question. All right. Anything else? You guys can go home. How are you guys can go have fun now? Go party or do whatever you want to do. But uh, that's it. All right. Have fun. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. And if anybody didn't tune in that you know is not here, tell them to get here. Okay, Zach Tyler, Connor Schloss, who else? Uh, Colin DeRoss, um, and that's it pretty much, okay? See you guys later. Have a great night. Thank you, have a good weekend. Okay, will do.